Mahuzit Beit, 20 years after the establishment of Neve Zedek, which was the first Hebrew neighborhood outside Jaffa, the Ahuzit Beit neighborhood was established, which later changed its name to Tel Aviv. Housing and rental prices in Jaffa were high and the standard of living was low, which led the veteran Jaffa Jews, along with members of the Second Aliyah, to build a new neighborhood. The plan was to build a neighborhood of gardens, villas with yards interspersed with wide streets, thus bringing about a high standard of living without density and dirt, all under the management and supervision of the committee. Three years after the establishment of the association, funds and loans were collected, the land was purchased, which was then called Karam Ghibli, and the land records were arranged. And in 1909, the lottery for the 60 plots was held by the head of the committee, Akiva Arye Weiss. In addition, public space has been allocated for the construction of the Herzliya Gymnasium, on the site of the current Shalom Tower. After the purchase, construction began immediately. The infrastructure was built by Jewish workers and the houses were built by the Shlush brothers and Arabs from Jaffa. At the end of the neighborhood, a water tower was built and a well was dug with a motorized water pump, which flowed water to all the houses. After about a year, the neighborhood was built and renamed Tel Aviv. Ehad Ham Street at one end, and Yehuda Halevi Street at the other end, including Rothschild Boulevard and Lillianblum Street, are all crossed by the main street, Herzl Street. Construction reached as far as Nahal at Benjamin Street, but demand increased and two years later the Nahal at Benjamin neighborhood was established that reached as far as Allenby Street.